Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Alright. What's up? It's me, Cameron. Here doing my chemistry of the dot 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 for the Beale Science at uh, chemistryislife.org. Got my, my art there. Um, so, for the chemistry of dot dot dot, I chose the chemistry of acrylic paints. Chose acrylic paints because I've recently gotten into them, I guess. So, I pretty much suck still. But I'm trying to get better. So, sucks right now, but it'll get better, I bet. Uh, yeah. Um, so anyways. Acrylic paints. They're pretty cool. Um, almost completely man-made, actually. So, which means, uh, except for a few exceptions. The pigments sometimes aren't, but. That's alright. Acrylics are made in factories then, because they're man-made. So, all these paints have pretty much two main ingredients and two non-main ingredients. Two main ingredients consist of the, of the pigment and the binder. Pigment is the colored part. That's a powdery solid, and the binder is a liquid, generally. Acrylic resin for acrylics. Also, the, the non-main two parts are solvents and additives. Those just those are dumb. We don't care about them. Um, the pigment binders are where it's at. Uh, the two... Okay, so of the two main ingredients, the binder. The binder is generally a polymer. Most common ones probably methyl, methyl, polymethyl methacrylate. That's pretty cool. Polymer means that it's just a... Uh, same thing repeated over and over again. The monomer, which is repeated over and over again. But I don't want to bore you with chemistry stuff. This, this is just supposed to be a fun video. Um, pigment. Pigment's pretty cool. Uh, most of them are synthetic, obviously, like I said. But some of them are not. Most of the time in the case of where it's just a single element. Such as uh, carbon charcoal for black or crushed cobalt for blue that happens a lot not crushed cobalt carbon uh, carbon for black charcoal but the crushed cobalt normally that's super expensive mine in Africa so yeah pigments most of the time they're made with pretty simple compounds things like iron and calcium iron oxide calcium sulfide not calcium cadmium sulfide awesome Great job, Cameron. Cadmium sulfide. Uh, you might have heard of cadmium red or cadmium yellow. That's that's where it derives from. Uh, so yeah, chemistry is like super involved in making all these synthetic parts for acrylic paint. But yeah, if you if you want the real nitty gritty details, you can always check me out at uh, my report at chemistry of life chemistryislife.com. Other than that, enjoy the rest of the video.